Hello all, welcome to Lead Code Weekly Contest 42 and we are solving problem minimum swaps to avoid forbidden values. So in this problem, what we need to do is we need to find minimum number of swaps required that for every index i, the value of nums of i is not equal to forbidden of i. And if we are not able to do it, we return minus 1. So we have nums and forbidden of i, they are vector arrays of length n. And the swaps are that if i and j are distinct values, we can swap nums of i with nums of j. So what we are going to do over here is, we will first create an ordered map that will store the counter of the values such that nums of i is not equal to f of i, forbidden of i. I will create a vector of pair of b where I will be storing when nums of i is not equal to forbidden of i. I will create a priority queue. That priority queue will store for element i how many times the number has been occurred, sorted by the number of elements. So first it is the counter and then the number. I will start my iteration in my while the queue dot size is greater than 0. So if the queue has more than one element, that is I will consider the top two elements and I will do the swap with each other. Right? And if they both are equal, simply the uh, the counter for which the second one is, I will add it to my answer. In my B also, I will add these two values, that uh, x dot second and y dot second. Why? Because now these are sorted. Now the nums of i is not equal to forbidden of i. Right? Now I will push back to this to B. But if they are not equal, then I will add y dot first, that is second top value. And for that second top value counter, I will be adding them to my B. And again, push uh, in Q, I will push back the remaining elements. Now, what I'll do is when I have only one element left in my Q, uh, that is the major part, that I will be making use of this B. Now, I will try to see that if my x dot second that a value does not matches with any value in the B, right? And that also does not matches with the forbidden of I, right? So that we can now simply make the swaps with the ones that are sorted, right? So that is the idea. And if I'm able to do it, I will return the answer and keep on updating my answer otherwise i return minus one so i did follow this question thank you